Hello, um, I'm Megan Knight. For you, uh, for those of you who might not know me, um, and this is you know me. I'm the guy with the hat. No, I'm I'm Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he's the Octo Project Community Manager, along with myself, the Advocacy Manager. Uh, we're just so happy to have you all here with us today um, in sunny, dry Vienna. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for showing up on such a beautiful day after all of the rain we had. Um, and with that, we will go ahead and get started. Uh, so, yes, um, the schedule link was added to uh, Sketch yesterday afternoon. Uh, so if you've got the Sketch saved for this session today, you should be able to click just directly on the link from uh, the session in Sketch. If not, um, you can go right here to this link. That's the schedule today. You can um, see the slides if speakers have submitted those. This is the general flow for today. Um, there's a coffee machine outside. It'll be accessible all day long. We will have some snacks and treats. Uh, <laughs> did someone just call like a bird? <laughs> it, 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 it was a pretty mighty bird. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, my. Um, okay, so yes, we'll provide some snacks at the coffee breaks, and then um, the lunch will just wander until we find some sort of sandwich cart. Um, we have a surprise announcement. While we couldn't get the Chromebook to work, we somehow managed to acquire a live stream. So we are now streaming live on YouTube, so please tell your friends if they were unable to join today and want to hear what, what's going on in the room. Live stream's running right now. That's the link. And uh, we are also recording today. So big thank you to Yosef for the equipment and Thomas for managing the equipment all day. Just a quick round of applause there. Thank you so much for your contribution. OK, so advocacy. Um, I would be silly if I didn't take a moment to talk about it. Uh, what do we do? Um, well, between you and I, we have the most fun. But um, on, a, on a more uh, specific level, uh, we are responsible for kind of going out into the public and making sure people know about Yocto Project uh, far and wide, right? So um, these are a few pictures from previous really boring times in the Yocto Project advocacy group with Dev Day last year in Prague, uh, Embedded World this year in Nuremberg. And um, I just really want to make sure that you all are aware that this is a thing um, that either you or people within your organization can participate. Um, you do not need to be a member to participate in advocacy. So um, if your company is um, not currently a Yocta Project member, um, that is not uh, a reason to not participate, if you catch my drift. Um, if you are a member also, uh, in the event that things go to voting uh, within advocacy, which in my two and a half years have, uh, has never happened, but in the event that it does, uh, you do get a vote as a member um, that's a little bit weighted higher than a non-member. That aside, um, we just get to have fun. So lots of events. Uh, you get to put on demos within the booths. Um, we are desperately trying to uh, work out a way to get some more use cases on the website. So um, if you have use cases that your company may be willing to share publicly, um, this is one of the other great ways to support the project without really needing to do any active work. Um, Use cases is something that really helps us push membership, which helps fund initiatives um, in future feature development. Um, so it really helps us show how widely used and accessible Yocto Project is. Um, and uh, we would just really love to feature whatever your use case is and show people uh, what you do with Yocto. Um, local meetups. So we would love to start uh, you know, coordinating more local meetups. Um, we unfortunately can't clone ourselves, so while I would love to be in 20 places at once, I would love to see the community doing stuff within their community. So um, if you have any ideas on how to kind of um, kickstart or advertise local meetups that are already going on or communities we can highlight and help um, make sure people are aware of their meetups, we would, we would love to start doing that. So um, lots of great and, and fun ways to kind of get involved. The last bit I want to mention is that uh, we are actively working towards producing Yocto Project specific training that is self-led, module-based, and will end in some sort of shiny badge that you can let people know that you're, you know, the smartest of them all when it comes to Yocto Project. Uh, currently, we're, we're working out a plan right now where we would start on some sort of beginner module because that's it's the most requested um, with some sort of, you know, uh, advanced track a year later and then um, ending in some sort of certification. Um, I've been talking to uh, embedded communities across multiple verticals and um, the struggle is real. 
Uh, no one is changing from embedded Linux anytime soon, and yet the number of qualified applicants for um, entry-level positions and beyond is um, dwindling. So we need to do what we can to empower our community, to educate our community, and make education accessible. So that is the goal of this, hopefully converting some contributors into maintainers and some users into contributors and fun, uh, feeding our, our healthy uh, developer pipelines. So if you are interested in helping us develop this, or you want to voice your opinion on what you'd like us to not do, that's also really important. So um, please reach out to the advocacy mailing list. Um, we'd love to hear from you. And with that, I'm going to hand this over to Yosef. Oh, OK. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I guess we can go across this relatively short, because most of you, or I guess some of you, have been to the buff on Tuesday. Raise your, raise your hands. OK, most of them. So just a real quick one. We are really proud to uh, welcome some new members, like the big ones, um, that <laughs> really make us uh, or enable us to do this kind of stuff. First one uh, that we can announce now is Garmin, specifically a very, very prominent gentleman who's doing a lot of crazy stuff in terms of SPDX uh, by the name of Joshua Walk, what, who is on the payroll of Garmin. So first, welcome Garmin. Then another one on the same level, welcome Boeing, um, a very prominent gentleman called Chuck Wolber, who is doing a lot of uh, stuff in the security area. So welcome Boeing, welcome our new Platinums. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to be real quick. So, uh, and there's, there's uh, two uh, non-Platinums also who have joined just recently, it's Peridio and Ambition. Um, Ambition does something with cars, Peridio does something not with cars, something with AI as far as I'm concerned. I don't know the details because I'm, I'm just a clown up here. Uh, yeah, thank you. Besides that, um, like I said, I'm, I'm going real quick. Um, cool stuff, you know, uh, this, is, this is the in-person event, so it's actually the only real in-person gathering of Yocto uh, people that we have on this planet at the moment. We encourage you to change it. But Use the day because it is your, your um, opportunity to, to connect with your peers. Um, and the next, not exactly as exciting, but also a very, very uh, important uh, opportunity to connect is the virtual uh, summit that we will have uh, early December. Uh, hopefully, we'll get out the CFP real soon. And all of you, please uh, submit and tell us what you're doing, learning, breaking, or just spare everybody else the pain that you suffered if you, do, if you did something wrong. Tell us what you did wrong. <laughs> yeah. And with that, just some minor housekeeping. You know, Scott cap is out. It's the current LTS. It will be maintained until 2028. Uh, Stihead 5.1 is coming up. I would say the two shiny new features that it has is Unpacked here, which fixes some crazy problems around uh, source code organization. I even don't understand it. And SPDX3, which has just recently been announced, and we already have support for it exactly in Stihead, thanks to Joshua's tireless efforts in doing things that are beyond our understanding. And I was just notified last night by LF Research that they consider Yocto Project one of the top two CRA-compliant, CRA-ready projects out of every project in the Linux Foundation. So I just want to give a huge shout out to Josh Watt because we would not be able to do this without him. Yeah, SPDX. It's a big deal. <laughs> it is a big deal. <laughs> With that, um, everybody. Have fun. Um, remember, we are. Uh, we try to be inclusive. We try to be embracing to every kind of person, non-person, entity, spirit, whatever is out there. <laughs> be kind to each other. Insults or uh, spoken violence are only acceptable if uh, agreed upon by either Megan or me. And every other kind of violence or harassment or whatever is not accepted. I and I mean that. Okay. And with that, up to you, folks. Let's welcome our first speaker.